Greetings, ladies, gentlemen, and non-binaries. And welcome back to Critter Timber, where I basically draw a bunch of smiling critters drawings for September because I have hyperfixation autism. Anyway, the prompt I'm currently drawing is to draw some Smiling Critters OCs, which I, luckily, have plenty of. The two OCs in this drawing specifically are Perry, Pe are Periwinkle Peacock, or Perry for short. Props to, any, to everyone who got the reference, <laughs> which is probably going to be a fair amount of people. Anyway... And the elephant is Benjamin Bubbafint, and if that last name sounds familiar, it should. And I will explain in a moment. So, who should I talk about first? Um, I'll talk about Perry first, because I have less to say about him. Perry is a fashion designer and a very extravagant fellow who is low-key Disney, Disney villain-coded. <laughs> like, you know how the... The Disney villains were, like, fabulous and kind of queer-coded because, you know, movies of their time, but everybody loves Disney villains for that reason. Uh, yeah, that's, that's Perry. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I'd actually, if I would actually have him do anything villainous. I mean, maybe, maybe. I can see him doing some villainous things, kind of. Not like anything like outright genuinely evil, but like causing problems. I could see that. Um, anyway, he is a fashion designer because of course the peacock is a fashion designer. Like what what else was I gonna do? Also, fun fact about Perry, um I my friends and I on Discord were doing a little challenge that I came up with where I would spin a wheel and it would give us a random scent. And then we would have to create a Smiling Critters OC from that scent. And Perry, and I got Plum, and Perry is what came out of that challenge. So yeah, Perry was actually the result of a Smiling Critters creation OC challenge. My friends made some really cool OCs too, but... But I made Perry, and then I kind of accidentally got attached to him. <laughs> and don't ask me when or why I decided to start shipping him with Benjamin. I don't know. It just kind of happened. Also, sorry, again, if you can hear any, like, Discord notifications in the background. My friends are talking. Anyway. Next is Benjamin Bubbafint. And the reason why his last name should sound familiar to anyone who's been around the Smiling Critters for about five seconds is because he's the older brother of Bubba Bubbafint. And I decided to give these two trauma because of course I did. So Benjamin and Bubba's parents, they put a lot of pressure on their kids. Like they managed to give both of their kids golden child syndrome without even having a golden child, so to say. They made both of their children the golden child. And left them, of course, with the psychological after effects of that. Like, parents with really high expectations, almost never proud of their kids or offering them any real praise. Like, their kids have to be the best into everything. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the Bubba Fence parents. Benjamin was actually 12 by the time Bubba came into this world because elephants usually only have one calf at a time. So, yeah, because they're a bigger animal, so when it comes to offspring, they value quality over quantity. So, yeah, I can imagine even in the Critterverse that an elephant... That elephant critters having more than one kids would be pretty uncommon, to say the least. So yeah, Benjamin was 12 when Bubba was born. He is currently 42, with Bubba being 30. Anyway, this man, this man is a sad, anxiety-ridden man. And I love him. He's he's a pathetic little creature. And I kind of love him for that. 
Like, he has since moved out of his parents' home and does everything in his power to avoid having to interact with his parents or even encounter them, ever. But he still lives kind of in fear of them and still has to live with the actor effect with the actor f after effects, blah. He still has to live with the psychological after effects of their quote unquote parenting. So yeah. <laughs> Benjamin was able to reconnect with Bubba though, like years later. They they bonded. They're they're a surprisingly cute dynamic. Just brothers being brothers and, you know, trauma bonding. <laughs> um, I have no idea how or when Benjamin and Perry would have met. I don't really have a story in mind for them yet. But, you know, I... I don't know why. I just like the, fa the idea of the fabulous character being absolutely head over heels for this granola bar elephant. <laughs> I'm sorry, is that mean? Is that mean? I don't think that's too mean. I, I'm aware that's at least a little mean, but I don't think that's too mean. <laughs> <coughs> if any of you guys uh, in the comments have any questions about either of them, uh, feel free to ask me. I'd be happy to tell you guys about them. Um, I've shared them with my Discord friends. Uh, they love these too. <laughs> I've been meaning to draw more of my Smiling Critters OCs, I just haven't gotten around to it because of scheduling and time and lack of motivation. <laughs> but uh, yeah, here's Benjamin and Perry. Them. Here you go. <laughs> I don't really have anything else to say, so let's move on to the next one. So the next prompt is actually two prompts squished into one because of how my scheduling and just how my life worked out I kind of missed a day of the prompt that of a prompt that I wanted to do technically which was frowning critters but then the next day where I actually was able to do it was the prompt was meme and uh, I <laughs> it was then that I realized that I had a solution to my little conundrum, which was to combine the two <laughs> into this. So, I've had this meme on my phone for a while now, and I don't, I don't know how or where this common trope, joke, meme, whatever you want to call it, of <laughs> came from. But what I do know is that. Catnap and Catfiend hate each other, so here you go. <laughs> so yeah, those are the Critter Timber drawings I have so far. Thank you for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye!